warm greetings today we are going to talk about the most common anti hypertensive medicine that is prescribed to all tell me sartan we will discuss its uses side effects of your warnings and what we need to know about its storage and other details so let's get started the what firstly tell me sartan is an oral tablet that is given in doses of 40 and 80 mg it comes in various brands like micardis micardis plus twin star telma telma h and tell me kind you're supposed to know what kind of brand you're taking because it's important as certain brands actually have a combination of anti hypertensive so it's not just tell me sartan but it's tell me sartan plus something else like telma h will have tell me sartan plus hydrochlorothiazide your physician prescribes as per your needs and just just be aware if it's just sole medicine or it's a combination right so the most common indications for telma or tell me sartan are to treat high blood pressure high blood pressure is a very important entity in terms of medicine because a lot of people suffer from it and it requires a lifelong control okay so it's important that the medication is adhered to forever and there is a constant follow up apart from that it is also used to reduce the risk of non fatal heart attack or non fatal stroke hypertension or high blood pressure is basically the essence the crux of all other complications so it's good if it is controlled at that level only and does not progress to other conditions like a heart attack or a stroke and that's why uh, tell me sartan is prescribed as i mentioned it comes in combinations as well moving on to understand what kind of a medication it is and its house firstly tell me sartan belongs to a group of medicines called angiotensin receptor blockers i'd like you to use some imagination here imagine your blood vessel is a pipe okay and imagine angiotensin that substance is something that can compress the pipe once you compress the pipe the pressure of water inside the pipe rises that's what angiotensin does to the blood vessels that means every time angiotensin comes through chemical mechanisms it compresses the pipe or the blood vessel and that's why the pressure of blood inside rises so what this medicine does is basically does not allow angiotensin to act by blocking its receptor action when when the action is blocked it cannot constrict and that's why the blood vessel is it's a normal diameter and there is no high blood pressure how to take tell me sartan is supposed to be taken as prescribed without any doubt it's recommended that you know you take at the same time every day as mentioned by your doctor or pharmacist and food is not an essential factor over here just one thing do not stop taking your medicine before informing your doctor or any other healthcare professional it is absolutely essential that you continue this medicine until told otherwise okay how do you store it it's actually a hygrophobic substance so you have to keep it away from moisture that's just one thing you're supposed to know it is packaged like that also so just keep it at room temperature and open it every time you just have to take it like 1 minute before right how about a miss a dose if you miss a dose just carry on with the next one at the usual times and do not double the dose lastly if you have an accidental overdose it's important you contact a healthcare professional irrespective of the symptoms you are facing okay moving on we will now discuss the side effects that are possibly there tell me sartan is actually one of the safest anti hypertensive agents you know in why people keep taking it for easily 3 to 4 decades of their life without experiencing any significant side effects so in case still in case you have any of the following symptoms uh, which you think are relevant to the medicine and aggravate with the medicine just keep in mind and inform your physician or pharmacist 
the next time you visit so maybe muscle cramps or mild headaches or diarrhea constipation abdominal pain dry mouth or a little drowsiness coming to drowsiness once you are started on the medicine this is one thing you have to make sure that you are having drowsiness at that time or no like this is the first time you're taking the medicine so it's important to see how your body reacts to it so before you perform any tasks which require special attention like driving a car or operating dangerous machinery wait until you know how you respond to tell me sort like dizziness lightheadedness or fainting can specially occur after the first dose or when the dose is increased so in these conditions just see how your body is responded and once you have accustomed yourself to the medicine then you can continue as per usual no trouble there Next, the drugs, social life, that's basically the interactions. As with most medications, we know, interactions are possible. So every time you meet a doctor or a pharmacist, just make sure you tell them that, yes, I am on this medicine and I'm just giving you the information. Specific to tell me certain, we need to know that if you are already on tell me certain, means it is a blood pressure medicine. In case you were started on another blood pressure medicine, make sure to inform that i am already on this one so that the doctor sees that there's no interactions okay apart from that a few other pain meds or if you're on heart medicines like the joxin or warfarin you are supposed to just keep every healthcare professional informed of your current medications and the rest they will take care of so you don't have to worry about it the precautions with this medicine this is the most highlight over here pregnancy tell me certain should not be used during pregnancy if you discover that you are pregnant while taking it just stop the medication and immediately contact your doctor nurse or pharmacist as soon as possible okay so tell me certain should not be used in pregnancy that's important that i hope you remember it Apart from that, before you are started on this medicine, like, you know, you're in the room with your physician and he's saying that, yes, I'm going to start you on something for your blood pressure. Just inform if you have any of these problems, that is, if you already have had an allergic reaction to other blood pressure medications or you have a known um, heart disease, diabetic or liver disease or kidney disease or if you are dehydrated like by suffering from excessive vomiting diarrhea or sweating or if you take any other medicine for your high blood pressure or if you're on a low salt diet or on dialysis and the rest will be taken care of just make sure you mention everything that can be associated with your fluid intake and your salt intake and your general physique all right the last point the nub to take away from the session is this medicine does not cure your disease it will not cure hypertension there's no such thing as cure for hypertension it only helps to control it and that's why you're supposed to take it daily it is important to continue taking tell me certain regularly even if you feel fine so please do not stop taking this medicine so with this i will be signing off Yours sincerely, The Nerd.